Well, all right, that is Black Pearl, the doctor's cut. Welcome, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Brenda Moss, a.k.a. Lady Diva here. Yes, we're on air and call in. Phone lines are open. All right, we have with this tonight, today, Saturday, we have a multi-talented producer and recording artist, Lavelle Powell. Are you with me? Yes, I'm here. Glad to be All here. All right. All right. Thank you for taking out your time to participate, to come on my platform and talk about your new single. It's Janice. All right. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Queen Creek, Arizona, uh, although I'm a native of uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, I've been in uh, Arizona for about four years now. So this is where I am, Queen Creek, Arizona. All right, and thank you for that information. All right, fans, you can call in. Tell us briefly how uh, your music journey began, uh, Mr. Powell. What and whom was your inspiration? What sparked it? Well, I have a host of them. Uh, <laughs> not enough time on the show to name them all, but, I mean, I, I definitely uh, Blue's Great Howlin' Wolf, uh, Prince, of course, uh, different ones like that, Joe Sample. Um, yeah, yeah, they they all uh, influenced me in their own way. They're like probably my my top three. Um, just their their uniqueness, you know, and and the way they express themselves musically, and yeah, it sure. just uh, had made a major impression on me. All right, and thank you for that information. So, are your parents and or siblings uh, are they musically talent like you? Uh, most of them are. They they either play an instrument or sing. Uh, in fact, they used to years ago. They had a, a gospel a gospel group, and they used to perform uh, up and down the East Coast. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm the youngest of nine, by oh, the way. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, musicians and and singers. Um, just literally my my family. And, All uh, right. So it wasn't. I was always around music. I was always around it. All right. Thank you for that information as well. So um, what was your first uh, music tool? Uh, I started playing the uh, the keyboard at 11 okay. years old. I, I begged my mom uh, to buy me one for Christmas. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and that was because my, my, my brother, my older brother, he was a keyboardist and I was uh, – always fascinated with him, you know, as he played oh. with their with their band. Uh so I begged my mom to buy me one and she did. Uh not she wasn't sure if I was gonna take to it or not, but I sure proved to her that I was. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. So we're we're on the show right now and uh, uh let's talk about the new single It's Janice. What's the brief story behind that uh track there you wanna let us know about? Oh, okay. Well, that song started out as a one-minute intro to a, uh, <clears throat> a radio show by the same title as Janice, uh, the host, uh, Miss Janice McLean Deloach. Uh, she's a uh, media personality and entrepreneur, and she has a weekly radio broadcast on, I think, uh, another radio station. And so uh, she um, came to me and asked me to do an intro for her show, which I did. And upon letting um, my friends and some industry folk hear it, they all uh, told me that, man, you need to make this into a full-length track. Um, so uh, the the hype behind the intro was growing to the point where I had this, I, okay, let me go ahead and do this. <laughs> so okay. I did a full-length track, and that's kind of how it happened. And uh, from there, it just – more demand. Hey, you need to put this out, you know, and okay. that's kind of how the song got out. But it started as a one minute intro for her radio show. Wow. It just grew from there. Yeah. Well, you didn't have a problem with that since you're so multi talented. Uh, I'm quite sure it just it just got to you and you had to do it, huh? No, I, I you know, I, I think um, for me, uh, I don't I don't really put a lot of thought necessarily into what I'm going to do musically. If someone tells me what they're looking for, mm -hmm. uh, normally within uh, a few seconds, I have a basic idea and I just oh, wow. sort of build around that. I structure okay. it around that idea. Yeah. Okay. I'm 
thankful awesome. for that talent. I thank God for that one. Yeah, because I, I don't think too many others can can do that. <laughs> so um, yeah. here is it's Janice. We'll be right back, everyone.
Well, all right. That is Janice. All right. I love it. Wow, Lavelle. That is something else. It's a lot of energy. I can see the steppers getting that one going. Yeah, you just had me uh, dancing around in here for the last four <laughs> minutes plus. <laughs> I was dancing in my chair too. Yes, that's a lot of energy. That is so good. I mean, uh the bass and the piano in there. Uh did I hear some bongos in there? Some drum bongos or something? Yeah, yeah, like during the breakdown there, there was like some bongos. Yeah. There, like, yep. uh, yeah, it's catchy. I love it. It's Thank high you. energy. Uh I can see Steppers uh using that using that track as well. So uh, go yeah. ahead and tell us uh, all work. We can uh, purchase that track there online at or any of the music outlets online. Um, <clears throat> the track is available on all uh, digital music outlets, including iTunes, uh, Amazon Music, uh, YouTube Music, uh, CD Baby. Um, all, let's see, uh, all all of them, you know, pretty much everywhere. Okay. Uh, Spotify. Um, and some others that I'm forgetting, but pretty much anywhere that uh, music can be purchased, Yandex, you'll find it. Right, right. And thank you for that information. Is there any other uh, future music projects you want to mention to let us know about? Uh, I actually have two uh, new singles I'm working on. I'm trying to have them ready uh, for release by or before uh, this this coming October. Wow. Um, 